What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com where I post all my videos, articles, other people's videos, stuff like that. And uh, now that I'm trying to build a channel here, we've got some new features. I'm doing more news articles. That, that seems to bring a lot of people in to check out the anomalies. My main part of my channel I do is I've got Mars anomalies, moon anomalies, old cool pictures from like the moon, lunar, the lunar missions, um, all of our rover missions. It's so things that are kind of out of place, you know. I also do some UFO stuff, some things on chemtrails. Uh, we got a lot of people send us pictures. Um, anything, I, I get pictures from people. But a lot of the new stuff, I, this is stuff I do all the time. I want to bring you guys stuff that I'm interested in. Like I said, it, it's what's up in the sky 37. And I'm going to try and bring on some more people to help me out here soon. I've got some big plans I hope we can really, I'm really blessed with this channel. And, and said so it's not huge, but we can make it huge. And I think we've got such a great a base of people who comment and put their thoughts in it's a really neat place just to kind of bat you know to actually bring some of this stuff together and news is started stuff i like to do it not news like you know what's syria what's going to who's going to bomb who and, and stuff that makes me want to puke that type of news i can't stand the type of news i don't subject myself to it i get these links from google google alerts that i put in like ison send me send me alert whenever there's new uh websites whenever there's new data uh, news articles. I do it with Mars rovers. I, I have like a list of things I get. I get 100 emails a day, um, granted from Google, which I have on a whole different, you know, section. So, one thing people wanted was Comet Ison. I and I was staying away from it because of the doom and gloom. I just was so sick of uh, going to a website and every time I see it there's a new picture out and people would take a picture and they don't know anything about how it was brought together. Um, I mean, just to make a Hubble telescope uh, picture, it's so unique and, and to each one that uh, and so customized that people were taking a picture and doing like what I do with the Mars pictures okay I take these Mars pictures I take my whole logic I throw it out the window I don't want to be preconceived pre notion for anything you know I just want to say all right what do I see and then I say oh that looks like a boot that looks like somebody standing up that looks like a tree that looks like a box that looks like something and I let my mind speak now what I wouldn't do is take a, what their people are doing are taking a picture like this and doing the same exact thing and they don't even understand how these things work most of the time like they're looking at a picture here and uh, let's just say I said okay look oh wow uh, look there's a uh, here's Ison in the middle and oh my god look at these red UFOs in the back here you know stuff like that <laughs> and I, I'm being very like you know not facetious but I, I'm playing it up here for you guys um, but you know that's really if you think about what's going on so comet ison i wanted to bring a couple more uh just a couple things i saw today and say a couple my last couple videos i did one that said that uh there was a a guy out an astronomer claiming uh from columbia that it was fizzling out now you know me i want to be totally legit i come back and forth say totally different stuff so uh, i you know if if i'm wrong i'm wrong if I'm right, I'm right. I don't, you know, I'm not one to gloat. I'm not one to say. I like. I think we're all in this together, and there's no. We're not with this ison. It's a whole new ball game. We're in a whole new world. We can, like I said, we can see. We not only can go by a telescope and look at it. We can sit here and look at it through top telescopes and pull these pictures up and uh, have access to this just amazing stuff. So, oops, what am I doing here? So, anyway, new data. Will comet ison survive its, survive its close? For helium passage, basically when it's close it gets to the sun. And uh, the question on every astronomer's mind this season, both backyard and professional, will Comet Ison survive for helium? And uh, I might not be saying that right. I've heard it a million times. It's basically when the sun, as close as it gets to the sun, which I think it's like 720,000 miles or something away from it, which uh, is a heck of a suntan. So, all right. Now, new studies released today at the American Astronomical, Astronomical Society's 45th Annual Division for Planetary Scientists meeting being held this week in Denver suggest that ISON may have the right stuff to make it through the close perihelion passage near its sun. This is good news. Of course it's good news. I want to see it making around. I want to see it in the broad daylight. You know, I want to be able to see it where, you know, like Hale Bopp was when I was a child. Uh, I'm not a child. I'm about to tear. About to my October 14th, my birthday, and uh, about to turn 33. So, uh, let me know how you guys are. I love to know you guys' ages. Comment below. Let me know your age. All right. It's Comet Ison is expected to be the most active show 
if it survives, it's going to be the most active comet show, as far as we know. I mean, it, it's poising to be. So, and a lot of this down here is is uh, all right. Here we go. We we measured the rotational pole of the nucleus. Um, the pole indicates that only one side of the comet is being heated by the sun on its way until approximately one week before it reaches the closest point to the sun. So basically, this thing's coming in. It's only getting heated on one side. That you know, the side is you facing the sun. You know how we're suntan and we get that nice stuff and we flip over. So um, it's not flipping itself over. I don't know. If Ison might not be a spacecraft like everybody say, would you think they'd flip itself over? I'm just kidding, guys. You know, if you, especially I'm just giving some humor with this stuff. You know, so I try to lighten it up a little bit. All right. Lee also noted that the reddish color of the coma of Ison suggested already active comets sublimating water, sublimating water and ice grains as they move away from the nucleus. He also noted that time has been allocated to observe Ison using Hubble this week. So, all right. So, Hubble, we're going to get some new some new Hubble pictures coming up. Um, I, just, I, I think I read this already earlier. Uh, the funny thing is when I do news, I'm not the best reader ever. I never really was. Sometimes I'll get in the groove and stuff, so bear with me. Like I said, I'd rather, if I'm watching a video, I'd rather be read to anyway. So, you know, bear with me. We're, we'll, we'll get better at this as we go along. Usually I can, you know move into a role. So here we go. Both researchers placed the suns of Ison's nucleus at the range of 0.5 to 2 kilometers, comfortably above the 0.2 kilometer shred limit for relative perihelion distance. Ison is not technically a uh, I guess a Cruet's group sun grazer. The studies of over 2,000 known comets historically observed provide an interesting guideline for what might be in store for Ison. So basically, these cruise comets, I think that's how you say it. Um, and you guys can, I don't mind if you, uh, if you come in there and tell me exactly what it is and how to pronounce it. I think that's cool when people correct me and tell me because I want to know how to say it for real. So, and, uh, and yeah, Lovejoy was another one. Uh, let's see. They partially survived it to become the Headless Wonders, while five, including Comet, uh, basically they're just telling you right here which one survived it. Some of them actually did get it through. So, Isom will pass inside the Roche limit of the Sun, which is the distance of 2.4 million kilometers for fluid bodies, and will be subject to temperatures approaching 500 or 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the closest approach. I guess that is a suntan. Ison is a first-time visitor into the solar system. We knew that. It's, uh, basically, that's a little bit more about Ison there. Um, thus far, there are no solid indications that Ison is indeed retrograde rotor. Uh, I didn't even read this up here. Okay, one interesting but little discussed factor highlighted in today's press release was that the retrograde versus prograde rotation of the cometary nucleus. A fast prograde spin of an elongated nucleus may spell doom for Ison, as tidal forces will rip it apart. A retrograde rotator, however, is very likely to survive the encounter. So, that's pretty good. You know, that, that that's putting it more towards it might do it. So, thus far, there are no solid indications that Ison is indeed a retrograde rotator, although there are tantalizing hints that beg for further observations. So, they're grasping at straws. Everybody is. They're really not going to... I'm going to say, uh, this, the implications are certainly good news for observers. If Ison survives, we would have a brilliant Christmas comet unfurling its tail off to the northeast in early December. It, I'm just so excited. I hope it makes it around. I think we should all be hoping it makes it around. Um, like I said... Uh, debunking, here we go. We were also... <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's read the rest of this here. Okay. Of course, these findings are contrary to the early cries of demise, including the paper out of Institute of Physics that have been circulating impeding demise of Ison, which I posted, and I'm absolutely probably right or wrong on that one. So, um, as we have also done our skeptics' duty in thoroughly debunking the mounting Ison lunacy, here we go, talk about it, including the status of harboring for the end of the world week, as well as the enable to fulfill prophecy. But if we get a surge in Ison next month, as researchers ask, we expect fully the company to the hype to the crest as well. Oh yeah, if this thing gets big and huge in the sky, it's going to be more and more hype. Wait till you see all the prophecy videos that are coming out. There's basically what they're doing is they'll take what they did through every other comet, uh, and then when you had Ellen in, you had all these things, and they just ratchet up the new videos, ratchet up the fear, they keep their ad sense going, even though if I if I was telling you that we were all going to die, or there was a possibility we were going to die, I'd close my ad sense and not make money off this stuff, and let you watch it without the ads, you know, um, I don't know, no one's done that yet in those major channels, so we'll have to see, you know, like I said, this is, 
This is a coin toss, totally up in the air. So, all right, we're glad to have some positive science to report for us. On yeah, you know, I was kind of getting bummed out when I heard it was just going to fizzle out. And uh, like I said, I think we're going to scratch that one. I don't think it's going to fizzle out. So, anyway, uh, let's take a little. This is basically the same old stuff here, talking about it. Um, I'll leave both of these links. This is also a little bit more of the. Uh, information about comet talks about the here comet isa and details emerge as it races towards the sun so yeah it talks a little bit about more about where it is um basically it gives the same stuff we just talked about in the other one so anyway guys like i said i'm work more into reading not to go 10 minutes not to be so uh you know light-hearted on some of these things i'm in a great mood today had a, it was just one of those great hump days uh, tomorrow is Thursday. I've got Friday off, so I got plenty of time to work on some stuff. It's my birthday weekend, October 14th. I uh, turned 33. Can't believe it's been 33 years. I'm so I just thank you guys so much for coming to this channel and uh, making it what it is, and commenting and sending me all the emails. Keep sending me your anomalies. Don't worry, I'm not gonna stop making the anomaly videos if that's what you come for. If you don't like the news videos, I apologize. That's just gonna be part of my channel. Just ignore that part of the channel, you know. Much love. Hit share, hit comment, tell me what you guys think. How old are you? Much love.